Describe a bar model in your own words. Describe what a bar model is. Okay, she says it has an answer on top. So in a bar model, she said it has an answer on top and then two numbers that equal that answer on the bottom. Okay, so an answer on top and two numbers that equal the answer, so kind of like that. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. It has a little bit more to it, right? What else do I need to add to it, Ethan? You need to put squares around it. Squares, or does it have to be a square? A rectangle. A rectangle around and you know what I'm going to tell you something about that you don't have to have a bigger number he said <coughs> what he said was you have to have a bigger box because it's a bigger number. There's going to be a point where you're using bar models for algebra and you won't know the values of these, so you won't be able to draw boxes that represent the size of the number because you will know the number. They're, they will be variables. So it doesn't matter. We could technically have this box over here be like this. It's not about the visual of this is smaller than this. It's about knowing that whatever this is has to um, be able to add to this and equal this. Okay? So while we do try to keep it kind of visual and do it more like this, it doesn't have to be. Okay? So that would be a bar model. This, un, this totally open rectangle is represented by these two pieces together. And if you think of... Let's just look at a line, right? Here's a line. If this whole measurement right here is 42 inches, and I cut two of those inches off, how much is left? 40. 40. So it's basically just showing the, the same thing. This hole is just these two pieces cut. It's a hole cut down here. Does that make sense? And we've gone over this before, but since we haven't had go math since first grade, like, or kindergarten since, like a lot of other people, I just want to make sure you remember that. Okay, who made a word problem? Okay, they have eight balls, you said? Mm -hmm. And they have a total of? Ten. Ten what? Ten. Friends. Mm -hmm. What's the rest of the word problem? Okay, so how many more, he said, how many more balls will you need so that each friend will have one ball? So if I do a bar model for that, Remember, my top represents the whole, and my bottom represents the parts of the whole. Remember part, part, whole? Yeah. <laughs> what number is going to go here on the top? What number of, the, if this was my word problem, what's going to go here? And what's going to go here? Eight. And what goes here? Two. There we go. Let's do one more sharing of a word problem. It's cute. Okay, Avani has... It's not funny. Four cups of flour. So this is a little different, but it works. Okay, so Avanit has four cups of flour. Ethan has six cups of flour. How much do they have all together? So when I make my bar model, my part, part, whole, what number is going to go down here? Six. Six. Four. What, does the four go on the bottom or the top? Bottom. Bottom. And then what goes on the top? Ten. Ten. Okay. So we've been doing the first couple examples I gave you. We were doing the whole and then one of the parts, and then we had to find the other part. This time we did the two parts, and we needed to find the whole. All right, what operations do we use? There was two different operations for this. What operation did we use here, class? Addition. Addition. And what operation did we use here? Subtraction. Subtraction. Because we did 10 minus 8 equals 2. Here we did 6 plus 4 equals 10. Yeah. Okay? 
Today's lesson is 11-5, and we're doing, um, it's problem solving. I know. Marisol is building a frame for a sandbox, but the boards she has are too short. She must join two boards together to build a side as shown. At what angle did she cut the board? So she has two pieces of wood that she's going to put together. And it's not very smart when you're going to join two pieces of wood, especially if you're going to do it for um, some kind of project you're building. It's not a good idea to join them together like this. They just don't stay very well. It is better to cut them at an angle and join them this way. So we need to find out the angle, you can write with me, of the second board. Okay, what information do I need to use? What information am I given here that I'm going to need to use to solve this problem? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Angelie, what's one thing I have? 55 degrees. 55 degrees is the one angle, right? Do I have any other information that I can use? Am I given any other information, Daniel? Does anybody know where Jalen got 180 from? So it's a half circle, and a half circle is 180. A straight line makes two angle, a straight line is a 180 degree. So this number plus this number has to equal 180. Okay? So we have 180 is the whole angle and 55 is the first angle. So how are we going to use this information? We're going to do a bar model. I'm going to do it like the way we've been, the, I'm going to do it the way we've been doing it on the board. Do, do I have a number for the top? No. Yes. 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 How many of you feel like I have a number for the top? What is that number? 180, 180. 180 degrees. Do I have a number for this box? Yes. What is that number? 55. Do I have a number for this box yet? No. No. What can I put there instead? X. X. I can put any letter, but I'm going to put X. So... So now I have 180. I know that these two add to 180. I'm going to say x plus 55 degrees equals 180 degrees. Do you notice how every time I do this I'm using degrees because you need to make sure your unit measure is up there. Okay, so I don't know off the top of my head what number plus 55 equals 180. What's a way I can solve this so that I'm not sitting here guessing and checking the whole time? Aureli? You could subtract um, 180. Minus, Minus correct, okay, I'm going to regroup that to 10 and group that to 7, so 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 5 is 2, bring down the 1, and I have 125 degrees plus 55 degrees equals 180 degrees, and now I know that my x is 125 degrees. Remember when I said earlier, Ethan, that it doesn't matter the size of the box? Because sometimes you don't know. Look at I made mine opposite. It doesn't matter, right? How can you check your answer to this problem? How can I check? So 120, oops, I'm messing up. 125 degrees plus 55 degrees. So I'm going to do that right here. 125, what am I hoping to get, Daniel? Okay, so should I just do this? No. No. I actually should add. That's the whole point of checking. Adding to check is to see if that's correct. So when I do 5 plus 5, I get 10. I regroup the 1. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus the 1 is 8. And 1 I bring down. And did I get 180 degrees when I added that? Yes. Yes, so I know that my answer is correct. Okay. 